We're gonna demonstrate some restraint exercises. We have Mambo here today to help us. This is our wonderful technician's dog. And how old is he? He's 11. He's 11 now. So he should be a master <laughs> at this. So um, the first thing we want to talk about is different leashes um, or collars, I guess this would be. Okay, so here we really like gentle leaders. So this actually goes over the bridge of their nose. Uh, we'll demonstrate how that works. <laughs> you actually have a lot more control. It's like, like a halter. So we control thousand pound horses with halters. So you're gonna have a lot more control. And then the leash hooks right underneath of the chin here. So you have a lot more control than with the harness where they're gonna use their body weight to pull you. So we really like um, these type of head restraints here. So the other thing, a good FD leash is, is great. So what doesn't work the best, at least in the vet clinic setting, is the retractable leashes because they always break on us and then animals get away. Um, I saw on Facebook the other day, someone called them Satan's yarn. <laughs> That's kind of cute. But... Okay, so the other thing we're going to do today um, is a few things that you can practice at home with your puppy for better visits at the vet. So we're doing things that aren't new for the first time. So the first thing we're gonna show you, come here bud. Positive reinforcement treats are gonna demonstrate a few restraints that we commonly use here in the clinic that you can practice with your puppy um, so that when they get here, they're not doing this for the first time and it's not so scary. So the first one is when we're drawing blood from the jugular vein. So we usually kind of have our over top of them and then we're just lifting gently up under the chin. And then the second one is if we're gonna draw blood from the cephalic vein. So if you put a little pressure right on the elbow there, just getting them used to that. Sometimes we draw blood from the back leg. So you can get them used to putting pressure and standing for that. The other thing we're demonstrating here um, is a bear hug that we commonly use. So just an arm underneath of the abdomen and then around um, the neck as well. And she's not squeezing very hard or choking him, but just restraining him. Okay, and the last restraint that we use is when they're on their backs. So if you hold the down leg, so I've got the down hind leg and Shrek's got the down front leg, they're going to be less likely to be able to use that leg to get under themselves and get up. So this one's a little bit more advanced, maybe you're not comfortable with that, um, but just again getting them used to it that it's not a big deal, we're not trying to hurt them, um, that it's, it's going to be okay. 